So this is just a little video I took walking around my parents' house, the house that I grew up in, right before they sold it. This was literally like a couple days right before, and I just wanted to document it. This is kind of more for me. Um, <laughs> Cooper was following me, and I just wanted to have something to look back on because it's going to be so strange, you know? It's going to be so weird to not have this place to go to for family gatherings and for like Christmas dinner and my whole childhood was here and also you guys haven't seen it in a long time I don't think but if you have been watching this channel for a long time you have definitely seen this house and then here's all the renovations that they've been doing over the last couple of years to get it ready as well this is the room that I slept in when my room was getting redone and this is the room that my first serious boyfriend and I slept in. This is my mom's old office, my brother's old room. And then, God, like, it's just, it's so weird how, <laughs> so funny, how a spot can have so many memories, you know? And it's weird, too. I thought always that I was going to be so much more homesick when I moved out, but I wasn't really. It was kind of more like I missed my parents and, like, my brother and used to have a ping pong table in that room it was kind of fun um but it wasn't so much homesickness it was just like maybe because we still had the place to go back to I don't know but yeah this is what they've been doing renovation wise I think it looks really nice god they're so anal about everything though my parents like they literally got this into the perfect condition my mom spent hours cleaning it left them those like beautiful pothos plants up there and then going upstairs you'll see what used to be my office and bedroom there were so many embarrassing child pictures of me and my brother on the ledge here and theater room and everything in there this was such a good place to grow up though like I will say growing up in the country because this is an acreage it's like a big plot of land and it was just outside of town so I could never sneak out but I also never really felt like claustrophobic you know because I could just go for a walk and have some time by myself and then oh my god I would spend so many bored days in that storage room right there just like going through shit I swear to god I got rid of so much of my parents shit <laughs> when I still lived there and then this hall closet that I'm walking past used to have all of our like games and electronics and stuff in it and then this is my parents old master they had a bed there and then I would come in here and make my mom organize her clothes because you know once I got bit with the declutter bug everyone else had to declutter all of their stuff which is pretty nice of me I got food poisoning and my parents were out of town so I slept in their bed because my brother had a bunch of his friends over and his room was right beside mine and I basically died in that bathroom so that's a fun memory for you and then this was our linen closet I'm surprised that they got literally everything out like there is not a stitch of anything left except for curtains this was my office that's the painting that they left obviously but I I painted it and I used to have my couch there. That couch actually, I just, it went to the dump. It's so sad. Um, but that's where I filmed for years. And I was saying that this is like the fuck up from when the floors were redone. He added boards and it didn't need it. Um, I, I started, I remember one of my first makeup tutorials was in that bathroom and it was literally like 2008 and it was a Claire's palette and I was like a black eyeshadow, so bad. And then I filmed right in front of those shelves forever. God, this is like such a good bedroom. I loved this room, those curtains also, excellent for filming. I swear to God, I haven't had better lighting ever. And yeah. Cooper got the the big empty house tour you know so did I I guess I never saw it like that before and then here is out the back my brother is just loading up the shed and then we came back downstairs here it's my brother's girlfriend and this is where they stayed this is also where my grandparents when they lived here 
where they lived, their like basement apartment. And this was always, this was so sick. Like this little, um, under the stair hiding spot, hide and seek down here was lit as fuck. We used to have like these new year's parties and we would do the whole house. We would just have it as like a free for all hide and seek anywhere. And like, there were so many little spaces that were so good to hide in. Also, this whole room used to be like this salmon color and we all repainted it when my grandparents left and then this bedroom was like a dark purple. I don't know what the color choices were there. Um, I guess that's it. So it's sold now and I hope the new owners have as many good memories and times that I did. Okay, I just got waved at by the cutest little kids and I'm in a like good mood. Um, I'm also going out for dinner with my new friend and it's gonna be a good time today was i talked about this on my patreon actually today is the day that my childhood home has been sold like an hour or two ago the keys were officially handed over and that is it is so it is so weird it's so strange but it's so good i'm happy for my parents they've been trying to do this for a while and getting everything ready and finally like it just it all kind of came together and I'm happy for them I'm like gonna miss it but it needed to happen and it's done so my mom and I went out for tacos for lunch to kind of commemorate the moment and uh, she and my dad are headed out camping now and I went to Winners, I went to Starbucks, went back home, did some work stuff, got ready for dinner. And then tomorrow, me and Bronwyn are going shopping for some stuff for her house. And let's not fuck around. I'm probably also gonna buy some stuff because why would I not? I literally am in a challenge. I've talked about this on Twitter and shit, but it's like a challenge to spend less money and to, you know, eat healthy and work out. And I will be honest, the rash that I got really fucking put me out of commission for two days. And today is the first day that I'm kind of feeling like a normal person. Hello there, we are going out to do a little bit of house shopping stuff with Bronwyn and then I keep hearing this ad on the radio that's like Nordstrom Rack end of season sale and we're gonna be right around the only Nordstrom Rack in Edmonton so we might stop over there I also need some food so hopefully we're gonna go grab some lunch because all I've had today is like a smoothie and it's 1 30 almost it is so hot but we're gonna go play badminton because I got some cheapy little rackets from HomeSense yesterday when I went out with Bronwyn. I'm sorry I didn't show you any of that. We were just catching up. But we're gonna go play. I haven't played badminton since like middle school. Hopefully the courts are open. And we've got our masks. Also, I figured out that in Alberta, they are reducing the time that you need your second immunization. It was like four to six weeks, right? Or like six to eight, whatever. Now it's 28 days. So I'm eligible to book in two freaking days for my second dose. And then I'm going to be a fully vaccinated bitch for hot girl summer. Oh, it's the wind. <laughs> There's wind. How does it It's fucking windy over here. It's hot. You guys, we're going grocery shopping. We're going to Costco for the first time alone. Costco is like my not happy place. It is the very opposite. It makes me very anxious. I do not love it there. And I was just gonna be like, oh, whatever. I'll go fucking where to save on or like superstore, but we want to get some like some bulk fruit and stuff and some like good meat and everything. So I'm gonna go wander around there. And then I'm gonna grab myself a coffee as a reward. 
I also need to pick up something from the UPS store, which I'm going to be passing on the way there, so we'll grab that first, because I ordered from the Gymshark 50% off sale. <laughs> I've never tried anything from Gymshark, and I'm quite excited about it. I did Costco all alone, and it was not that bad. It was fine. Um, and then I went to home sense I got a piece of art I had been looking at and waiting and considering and found one and then I got me and Cooper Timmy's for lunch and now we're going back to the house and it's gonna be pretty litty titty my friends now I'm gonna get deep 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 in an editing hole <laughs> <laughs> 